the fastest growing news in Atlanta. Breaking right now, we're going to head back out to CBS 46's Trayson Bragg, who's been with a protest, walking with protesters all day. Right now, he is outside of the Capitol. You just saw somebody get arrested, Trayson. We sure did, Brittany. That actually happened right to my right. But I want to show you something. We are literally right on the front lines right now. You see this barricade? This barricade is the only thing blocking Capitol Police from protesters. There's been some drawing back and forth. Uh, but other than that, this has been completely peaceful. You mentioned that person who was arrested, that protester. We just found out from a witness. We didn't hear anything from the law enforcement yet, but a witness who was right there when he was arrested said he was holding a leaf blower. Now, I did see that leaf blower. He tells me he was holding a leaf blower and went to turn that leaf blower on. He was pointing that at National Guards members and uh, Capitol Police. That is when they immediately reacted. You see that barricade there. They broke through that barricade and, be able, and began making their way directly to that protester. Now, there is some, some folks here saying that he was tased. We haven't been able to confirm that or not yet, but we did hear that from multiple witnesses here. We're still waiting to find out exactly what charges he may or may not face, but that is the latest here. We are still here. Take a look behind me as well. We have cars here. They are blocking the intersection. These cars are in support of the protest. I've seen fists in the air. I've seen children out here putting their fists up. I've heard honks all day long, signs. Look at these cars here. This, these are people who are supporting the protest, which is still going on. Again, we still have law enforcement here. We're right on the front lines. We're gonna continue to track these protesters, follow wherever they go. We're not sure if they're gonna stay here, if they're gonna eventually make their way back to the park, but we're going to bring you the very latest from the front lines, as you can see right here at the Capitol. Reporting live in downtown, I'm Trayson Bragg, CBS 46 News. Trayson, before you go, let me ask you a quick question. Are you seeing a lot of law enforcement out there? Because keep in mind, there's no curfew tonight. So I just want to know, are you seeing a lot of uh, heavy police presence? You know, that's a great question. At the park, at Centennial Olympic Park, there was a very, very tiny law enforcement presence. In fact, they were staying back. They were not bothering protesters, even when protesters were blocking the intersection of Centennial Olympic uh, and Marietta Street. But here, as soon as we all made our way right here to the Capitol, that's when you instantly saw National Guards members making their way out of the Capitol, as well as Capitol Police. Originally, they were just standing there. About five to ten minutes after that, they brought out their shields and they put on the riot gear, helmets, armor. So, yes, there is a strong presence here. Other than that one arrest, you can see some of the National Guards members there. Other than that one arrest, they have stayed behind the bar barrier on the Capitol's property. But we're going to have to see, to your point, there is no curfew. We're going to have to see what happens as this crowd stays here, as these protesters stay here. We're going to have to see what law enforcement does if they do anything, because as you said, there is no curfew tonight. I'm going to send it back to you, Brittany. All right, Trayson Bragg on the ground there. Thank you so much. As we know, things can change very quickly.